Many of us have seen the great number of RFID blocking wallets, cases, passport books, as well as tap-and-go credit card sleeves that are sold online. Some of them can be quite expensive. Today I'm going to show you a very cool nickel and copper plated nylon fabric that has the ability to block virtually all electric fields and radio waves. Several types of this fabric are sold online, but they all have very similar performance. The shielding fabric you see here may look like paper, but as you can see, under increasing levels of magnification, it is a woven fabric. This fabric has excellent moisture resistance, washability, corrosion resistance, flexibility, and can be ironed onto surfaces because one side has a hot milk glue coating. The shielding fabric you see here will block Wi-Fi signals, Bluetooth signals, as well as cellular signals. In a minute, I'm going to show you how you can easily shield your tap and go credit cards inside your wallet or protect your passport as well. First, let me give you a quick demonstration showing how well this material blocks electric fields. To show you the electric field, we're going to be using this fluorescent magnifying light and you're going to see it show up on this must tool MT525 tester. I show this in another video, it's excellent. If you have not seen that video, you can click on the end card after watching this video. So let me power this up. And let's turn on the backlight. All right, so let me hold this right over there. And I'm going to take the shielding material and go right between. And look at how it blocked it. Okay, right here you can see I have my RFID tap and go credit card wrapped in the shielding material and I'm holding it against the sensor location and nothing is happening on the screen. Now I'm going to do it again with the shielding material removed from the card and as you can see the screen is now registering my card. For this demonstration I'm going to call up a credit card company, place it on speaker mode so you can hear them talking and then I'm going to fold the material over the phone, just like a Faraday cage, hold the edges down, and you're going to see that the phone call was dropped. Once it's dropped, you're going to see the phone says emergency calls only. Here we go. Dial. Speaker. Thanks for calling Capital One. Say or enter the last four digits of your card. But if I know it, And that should be enough. Dropped. Emergency calls only. Look at that. Everything is gone. It does work, and it works extremely well. If you'd like to protect a passport holder like you see right here, it's very easy to do. You can either open up the stitching on one end, slide the shielding material in, but you don't even have to do that. It's much easier. This is where the passport would go in underneath this flap and underneath this flap. So all you would have to do is cut a piece of material like you see right here and insert it underneath that flap and underneath this flap, which I'll show you in a minute, and then you would put your passport inside under that flap and under the other flap, your passport will have total protection. Let me show you what it looks like when the material is in place. And this is what it looks like when it's fully inserted. Then you can close it up and have total protection. Now the same thing would apply to a wallet. You can either open up the stitching to insert the material, like you see here, you're going to cut it to the length of the billfold. Or you could just open up this wallet and insert it where the billfold would go. Let me do that, come right back and I'll show you. Okay, it's now inserted. This is RFID protected. Open it up and you can see right over here, the material. And I can put bills directly in front of it. Very easy to do many uses for this fabric. This was just a few to show you what you can do. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, share, and check out my extensive video playlist for many other videos of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching.